Hello and welcome to the very first Sonar TV Sports Highlight Show with me, Chris Nightingale. And me, James Shipp. This is the place to catch all the highlights and coverage of the university's sporting fixtures, news, tables and reaction. And we begin with Solent's first football team, who welcomed Exeter Seconds to Test Bark. It was one of the few games that survived the harsh weather. And well, as the scoreline suggests, Solent dominated. The lads ran out 6-0 winners with goals from Deck Edwards, Ashley Daniels, Mark Jordan and a hat-trick from Ross Langworthy. The pick of the goals being an absolute weldy from Jordan. Take a look at this. So that impressive result leaves Solent fourth in the Western 2A League on nine points. For the women's football team it was a different story as they were defeated 2-0 by Exeter. It could have been even worse for Solent though if the visitors had scored this penalty they were awarded earlier on. Next up, it's the women's basketball. Unfortunately for the team, their fixture was cancelled due to Swansea not being able to field a team. Annoying as it may seem, but Solon were awarded a walkover victory. That result leaves Solon at the top of the Western 1A, level on points with Cardiff firsts. So moving on into the men's tennis now, and with the boys welcoming Exeter down south, after a triumphant cup victory against UE the week before, spirits were high. But there was some bad news for the team, they were missing captain Lee Nicholson, who was ruled out with illness. Nicholson's absence proved to be a big loss, as the boys lost out 2-10, with only Roman Beck and Tom Sanson picking up points for Solent. So this result leaves the first team in fourth position in the Western 2A level on points, with Southampton University seconds. We've heard how the women's basketball team got on, although it turns out they didn't actually have to play to win. But what about the men? Well, Shippy, it was a cracking result for Solent's first as they thrashed visitors Gloucester 74-47. That leaves them just three points behind league leaders Bath, and here's the best of the action. What a good goal. Now moving on from good goals to good guests. Nicely done. We're honoured to have one of Solent's finest table tennis players of all time, Tom Eastwood. Tom, thanks for joining us. That's all right. It's a pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure to have you. So, Tom, what were the reasons behind the table tennis team folding? Well, we started off with a pretty small squad at the beginning of the season and we struggled to put out a full complement of players for most of the matches. And then our captain dropped out of uni. So I just discussed it with Sports Silent and decided it was best to... Like pull the team out of the league. Well, last year you got promoted. Yeah, so we how, won the league. How disappointing was it not to be able to carry on this season? Yeah, it was very disappointing. It was a bit of a shock that our captain pulled out, and but it was probably for the best because we're letting the other teams down as well. Did you ever get any any sort of coaching or anything? Did anyone help you out, or was it just no, all you had to do it yourself? We've kind of like coached ourselves. We've all played at a good standard, county standard, bit on the national level, so we all know what to do, like coaching wise. So. 
just help each other out. Mm. Right, we know how much you know about table tennis. The viewer <laughs> knows how much you know about table tennis. But do you know how much you know about table tennis? I probably don't know that much, to be fair. <laughs> We've got four questions we want to ask you, just about general te table tennis knowledge, and see if you can get any of them right. OK, I'll give it a go. Number one, which country was table tennis banned from in the 1930s? Um, Nigeria. <laughs> no. No. The answer is actually Soviet Union, yeah. because they believed it was harmful to the eyes. Yep. So number two, is table tennis the most popular racket sport in the world? Um, that's a hard one with like all the Chinese playing table tennis as it's their national sport, and they have stadiums of like eighty thousand over there, like the size of Old Trafford. Yeah. Um, I reckon it's probably up there, but I don't reckon it's like the best. Must play racket sport, probably about second. Yeah, well, it shows what you know because it is the most popular racket sport in the world with over 10 million players competing worldwide. Wow. Yeah. It's impressive. Question three What is the size of a modern te table tennis table? I haven't got a clue about that. Do you want to guess? In feet? Um, let's see. 12 foot by 6 foot. And that's actually 9 feet long, 5 feet wide. 2.5 feet depth, and the net is six me six inches high. Okay, I never knew that. <laughs> and our final question for you: What is the longest table tennis rally to history? How many shots? Yeah. Um, so about five thousand. <laughs> no, it's 173, and that was between Jackie Bellinger and Lisa Lomas so in 1993. Great. Okay. Yeah, you were close. <laughs> Not too far off. <laughs> on that note, thanks, Tom. That's all right. And it's been a pleasure being here. Uh, you're free to go whatever you do on a Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much all you need to know about Solent Sport for this week. We'll be back in a fortnight with more. Until then, stay safe.